So today we're going to make an interesting dish. So I've made mackerel and rice, and I didn't make one on the show yet, but I may make one one day. A little hard trying to get these <clears throat> these uh, cans of mackerel. But I'm going to do something very interesting. I'm going to take this can of mackerel. Of course, i got to open it, drain it, let it soak, get some, get some of the oil out of it. I'm going to take some spaghetti noodles. Not sure what else I'm going to add to this, but we're going to find out if I can do a little magic with these mackerel and, and uh, pasta. So I'll be back with you. Okay, so I've already emptied out the juice. Still a little bit left in it. Juice is not that appealing. What you do, after you empty these out, put a little water in. And we want to put this in the refrigerator so we can get all this oil to come off this fish. And then we're going to take some spaghetti noodles. And we're going to get on that. I'm going to go ahead and take these noodles and start cooking some of them. We don't have a lot of mackerel, so I'm not going to make a lot of uh, spaghetti noodles. But just enough so we know what we're doing. Be back with you guys. All right. So we got to pull from. I use filtered water and everything. I don't know. Maybe a pet tea or whatever. I don't know what it is. But take your standard uh, spaghetti. I usually just take my spaghetti and slice the bread in half. Spaghetti tends to swell up anyway. much I can always take the extra and uh, put it aside and make something else with it and then next day I sell. That way I don't have to worry about all these half open boxes. <clears throat> these uh mackerel try to smush them up they don't have bones in it so don't worry Olive oil. I'm gonna cook cook this on low heat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some onions to this. I let it simmer for a little bit. It's on juices. And then we're gonna to get to the fun part. I'll be back. Alright folks. Got this uh about ready for my switch pots over. Add a few more onions in there. You know how I love my onions.
start adding a little bit of this uh, knuckle up in here. pepper oh don't need this cause some parsley flakes Chili powder. Just give it a little bite. pinch of salt Diced tomatoes. All right, let me let this simmer for a little bit. I'll be back. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and get some of this. Let's do a white bowl because the green screen of mine's. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and take this over to the uh, table. All right, peeps. Now, this is what it is. Mackerel with spaghetti noodles, uh, some diced tomatoes, and some seasonings. So, we're going to give it a quick sniff test. It smells mostly like mackerel. Let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. I got those onions in here, too. That is very unique. That's, hmm, let's try a little uh, grated uh, Parmesan cheese on this. Just curious what this tastes like with a little bit of this one. Wow. 
Wow, that is Ashley. This, believe it or not, comes together really nicely. It's, you can still taste the fish. And yes, I, I, I taste it with the Parmesan cheese and I like it with that on it too. You can taste the mackerel. It's very strong up front. Then you got the, the uh, spaghetti noodles. You don't taste too much of the um, tomatoes, onions. You can hear it crunch a little bit because I put some uh, additional ones in it as I put it in the pot. <coughs> but just, it's not bad. It's, it's different. <clears throat> it's different. There's no question about that. Because uh, I used to use mackerel and I put it in rice. And so I knew what it would expect to expect. But I've done it before many times. But I've never actually used spaghetti instead of rice. So I really wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. This is pleasantly surprising. Because I never thought... I guess rice, pasta, yeah, this is, oh gosh. It's, if I had a category of this, I wouldn't say this would be an American dish because it doesn't, because the way it was cooked and the, the way it kind of tastes. And it has that mackerel, or strong mackerel taste to it. So all, all you pretty much do is you taste that mackerel, yeah, mackerel, with the other ingredients. But it comes to well, comes together so well. Um, shock. I thought this was going to be a disaster, but it's not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. Wow. Not really sure what I'm gonna call this. I'm thinking maybe uh, macro pasta, maybe? I don't know. But, it's a very interesting dish. I don't, it has me baffled because if this was rice instead of uh, spaghetti, it, it, it would be no big deal. But eating it with spaghetti noodles is just, so weird that, but it doesn't taste weird. It actually does kind of taste weird, <laughs> not in a bad way, but as a. If I had to guess, this would have I would have said this dish was made in a different country. This this wouldn't be an American dish, not because the the way it tastes, it tastes nothing like American food. But it's so interesting. This is not bad. Now the the. The um, spaghetti noodles is not the healthy, a lot of carbs in it, but that mackerel got those omega 3s in it. Oh, yes, your body will love it. But this stuff's pretty good. I'll rate it good eight and a half. This is, if you want something really different that your family haven't tried, try cooking this. They will eat it and just look at the, the stare in their eyes when they're like, what am I eating? <laughs> Until next time, fam. You take care of yourself. Ron's out.